Hello and welcome to pmslounge.com. My name is Shoaib. I'm the voice behind all the videos that you see on this website as well as our official YouTube channel, youtube.com slash pmslounge. If you're watching this on YouTube, consider subscribing. We are all about project management, PMP and other project management related certifications. Now, this video is part of the Lounge Fever series where we answer your questions. And this question came in as a comment on one of our videos known as the power interest grid. So power interest grid is basically a topic in stakeholder management knowledge area. So two important links that you're going to find in the description is the first one is going to be a playlist of all the videos that we have done in the stakeholder management knowledge area, right? Related to stakeholder management knowledge area, all the topics that you should know for your PMP exam. And otherwise, if you're dealing with stakeholders, check out the first link in the description. The second link, which is where this video is also going to go in is a playlist of all your FAQs related to stakeholder management. So the question that I'm taking up today and you will see it on your screen now, it is by Abhinay and he asks, sir, in which quadrant does suppliers come? Now, in order to understand that, uh, you must first know the four quadrants, right? That we are talking about. That is the power interest grid. So let me share my screen. Uh, third link will be a direct uh, video link on uh, this topic, power interest grid, the video that we did on this topic. You can check that video out if you want to. Uh, that would be the third link. But this is how the grid looks like, right? You basically have a matrix of sorts. Uh, you have high power here. So people with high power, they are listed in this row. Then you have people with low power, they are listed in this row. And then people with low interest, they are listed in this column, right? So someone with high power and low interest is perhaps uh, a functional manager. They can uh, basically come in this uh, kind of uh, quadrant in this quadrant, right? Then you have uh, someone with low power, but low interest that is uh, maybe an SME who is basically giving you some uh, knowledge, some advice, but he has low power and low interest in your project. Similarly, you have high interest, high power, like a sponsor or a customer, you have uh, someone with high interest, but low power, someone like a uh, support function, HR finance, right? Now let's talk about suppliers. So suppliers are basically, uh, you know, you are the suppliers customer, right? Because you are essentially paying them and you are asking for their services in return. These could be suppliers providing uh, maybe, uh, you know, team resources or physical resources or whatever, right? So what do you think? Do they have high power or low power? Like I said, you are their customer. So relatively, they have low power. Now let's talk about their interest in your project. Do you think your supplier has high interest or low interest in the success or failure of your project? Low interest, right? Because they don't really care too much about your project. Uh, you are their customer. So they are basically providing you uh, with some resources that you might need. And apart from that, it's up to you how your project goes, right? Their interest in the success or failure of your project is actually pretty much low. So low power, low interest, this is the quadrant where suppliers would basically fall. And what are you supposed to do? Uh, to people who fall in this quadrant, you are supposed to monitor them. You need to touch base with them, but not too often as they might not be interested. And you need to make sure that there aren't any problems. So that is what you do for uh, people who have low power and low interest in your project. And that is the quadrant where suppliers fit. Now, obviously, this is just a generic example. It is possible that in your specific example, let's say you are doing a government project and uh, you are delivering this project for the government, you are also getting some resources from the government to deliver this project. So in that case, some other department of the government is your supplier, but that department may also have high power on your project and high interest as well, because end of the day, both of them are government entities, your customer and your supplier could be government entity. So those are specific examples, which would obviously, uh, you know, differ from project to project. But in generic terms, 
a supplier will have low power and low interest on your project. I hope you got value out of this and I hope you were able to understand how the quadrants work and where suppliers fall. Check out the links in the description for more such videos. Uh, if you like our content, consider contributing at pmclounge.com slash contribute. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.